What's up guys, it's Nick here, back with another tech tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade the iPhone 4S or iPhone 5 or any A5 or A6 device that um, you can downgrade them to iOS 8.4.1. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now you may be wondering, why is your iPhone 4S on iOS 9? I thought you downgraded to iOS 6. I did, but I tried to go to iOS 8, but the only way I could do that would be by uninstalling Cydia without having to restore, but I needed iOS 7.1 or newer. <clears throat> so, I had to restore. And I may be wondering why you want to go to iOS 8, stay on iOS 6. Because I want to screw around with other firmwares. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm already familiar with iOS 6 as I have it on my 3GS. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade those devices. So, I'm going to put the list of compatible devices, which is the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPad 2, 3, 4, iPad mini 1, and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Those are the devices that this will work on. This will not work on an iPhone 5C. Because what we're going to do is trick the iPhone into thinking that it's running <clears throat> iOS 6 and the iPhone 5C never ran iOS 6. So, I'm going to show you guys what you need. Now, you will need to be jailbroken. And I showed you guys a video already how to jailbreak uh, iOS 9 with 3 U tools or any version of iOS. And I did re-jailbreak again and it took like literally 10 minutes. So, anyways, <clears throat> you want to go open up Cydia. And let me show you guys what you guys will need for this. So... Um, actually, okay, so we got that. And what you want to look for, you want to go in here and look for iFile when there's a train honking. So, you guys have already seen that um, I've used iFile before. So, you get, you might see this message, unable to purchase. Don't worry about that. You can still install it. I think you just can't buy the full version exactly. So, you can still install this version. It's, it'll still work and it's lagging. So, it will work. There you go. So we confirm and just download iFile from there. <clears throat> and just let it take its sweet time. And um, yeah, the next firmware I'm going to downgrade to is to iOS 7 after iOS 8, after I'm on it for a good while. I'm going to do that with this tool called DECA 5. Um, it's an A5 downgrade tool where you can downgrade any A5 device to any firmware of iOS, even if it's unsigned. It's a tether downgrade, and you have to put your device onto Pwn DFU mode. And I'll make a video about that, and uh, that's the last one where I can downgrade it to. I cannot downgrade to iOS 5 because this iPhone was made after iOS 5, so it can only run up to as low as it could run down to <clears throat> is iOS 6, and my arm is already hurting. So, there we go. It's installing now, and um, yeah, ignore this message. You're going to get that. Configuring iFile, and it should be installing any second. All right. So now it's installed. Let's go back to Cydia, and there is iFile. So um, I hope it doesn't crash, because if it does crash, I can install that tweak I already showed. There we go. So that's so you start off in var and right there in mobile, but you actually want to go all the way back to the very beginning. Uh, yeah, just forget about that. So you're on the slash, and then you want to scroll down to. Okay, now let me head all the way back. Okay, head here. Yeah, get to the. Well, all the way at the very beginning, click on that slash. Or, you know, you click all the way back to the very front. Then you want to click on System. And then, of course, Library, which is the only one. Then you want to click on, where is it? Core Services. And then you want to go all the way down until you find System Version. .plist. So let's go to Property List Viewer. I think it's this one. No, I think it's this one. Text Viewer. And, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that we're here, so if you look closely here, right here it's a string. You see the build number for the version of iOS, then you see the um, string there. Now they ignore that, and then the version number. So it sees 9.3.6. So you want to change it to 6.0 because this is the only one it's going to work on. So, oh, I gotta edit. So if we go here, and if I go over here, then you want to click 6.0. And then there's that. And then you want to find the build number. So in my case, the build number is 10A403. So let's do that. 10A403. And that's the version number. So now you want to click on, you know, save and then done from there. And then now you want to go on to property list viewer and then you edit it from here. Oh, okay, well, never mind, I already got it. All right, so now, just to confirm, let's see if it's actually on, um, does it say what it's supposed to say? Yeah, there we go, so it's tricking it. And now the next thing you want to do 
is you want to restart the phone. And then from there, it's going to kind of boot and kind of process it to make you think that it's iOS 6. So I'm going to wait this to power off. or I, I don't know if it's already powered off. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. So now let's boot it up again. There we go. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> but yeah, so this, I, you need to restart your device for the thing to actually work. So now let's see <clears throat> if it's going to work. So consistently. So, okay, so basically I think what should happen is a little line under the Apple logo should show up. Which will, yeah, there you go, as you can see. So it's kind of just starting, it's going to load the firmware file or the update for iOS 8. So I'm going to wait a little bit until it finishes. And I don't, I don't know how long it, I forgot how long it, t it took the last time uh, trying to do this. But yeah, I'm going to wait until it powers back on. All right, the phone has powered back on. So let's go into the software update and hopefully, and let's see if iOS 8 is going to pop up. I really hope so, fingers crossed. Actually, no, don't cross your fingers, that brings bad luck. <laughs> but we should be hopefully seeing an update. I remember the last time I actually tried doing this, it did show the actual thing. And again, it takes, it. usually with this, it's gonna take a while for the actual update to show. Um, because it's a really old phone, and it's kind of a slow device. Um, so it, it's mainly the performance, it's gonna cause it to sort of take a little bit and sort of take its time so if this happens to you don't worry I think on the iPhone 5 it should be a little bit faster but yeah I'm gonna wait a bit uh, I'm gonna wait oh there we go I was 8.4.1 so it's ready so let's download it and install yes I agree to everything and all right update requested so it's gonna start downloading the firmware and this is a file size 1.1 gigabytes it's gonna take a bit so once it's finished I'll keep recording again so this is a pretty large file size so this is going to take a while so my phone's at this phone's at 87 percent so if yours is kind of a low battery i'd say keep it on the charger and make sure you have a good wi-fi connection that would also cost you know if that will also make the update finish a little bit faster so yeah i'm still over here waiting so yeah all right so i, I went i i kind of uh got out for a bit it's a few minutes later and the update is ready. So let's install now, verifying update. And kind of excited. I haven't, I remember my sister's iPad 2 was on iOS 8 when I gave it to her at first. <clears throat> and I haven't used it in like almost a year because then in January, last January, my sister updated it to iOS 9 because of the app support was a bit lacking. She couldn't download games or some specific games. So I haven't used iOS 8 in a bit, so I want, I'm want. i actually curious to see how... I forgot how the performance was and all that too. So I'm about to see that right now and it says verifying update. There we go. I was about to say what's taking so long because... Okay, there we go. So the screen went to black and the Apple logo should show up and there it is. So, oh, hope it's not stuck. I can sort of see the screen on with the... See, I see, like, you can tell the screen is on, but it's still kind of, like, a little blackish. But I can easily, there you go. There we go. So the little loading thing <clears throat> is going to pop up. And uh, so I, I think you have to reset the phone whenever you, whenever you, what you call, whenever you update. Or, yeah, just to make sure that everything is, or you know what? Not really. I don't, actually don't think you have to update. It was recommended to maybe, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that in this case, um, because I think from I don't know if I'm not heard resetting. I think automatically updates the firmware. I I don't know. I never really believed it, cause uh, actually no, it doesn't. Because I remember my sister's iPad too. I reset it on iOS eight so many times, and you know when I was trying to load it, and it never actually. It never, you know, updated. It stayed on iOS 8. So now, of course, I'm gonna block the uh, the block the um, iOS update once this is done. So it's barely loading. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. But once it's ready, I will be back. All right. It's been about 20 minutes. The phone powered on. Oh yes, this is it. I update completed. So you know what? I don't think I'm actually gonna reset the phone. No, oh, I gotta connect to the Wi-Fi again. Dang, it feels so weird. I have not used this in forever. Okay, so joining my Wi-Fi. 
And let's see what ha what goes on from here. And sorry, up on load. I have to block the update with 3U tools. Basically, it'll install a TVOS profile. And yeah, it's doing its thing from there. May take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. It's gonna ask me for my cloud. I'm gonna put it in this time since. Oh, there we go. So, spotlight has moved. Okay, let's go into settings. Let's go into general, about. And there it is iOS 8.4.1. This is pretty cool. So how do I change the wallpaper? No, we doing. Oh, what the hell? Still, I just. Oh, the thing crashed. That was weird. Okay, let me try. Let me try again. See if that will. I might actually have to. Oh, there we go. So perspective zoom on. We're gonna set it on both. Dang, it looks so different. I completely forgot. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna move. Move everything here and leave it to the layout. And there it is. So we are on iOS 8.4.1. So yes, allow, I haven't used this in so long. Control center and all that. The spotlight looks different. How about the app switcher? Holy God, this looks so different. So as you can see, we are now on iOS 8. And performance wise, uh, I don't know there's that much of a difference. Maybe at one point I will, but all right, I'm going to set this up and log into my iCloud. So, yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. Just a quick tutorial on how to downgrade iOS 8. This works, again, on the following devices. The iPhone uh, 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone, I mean, iPad 2, 3, 4, iPad mini 1, and iPod Touch 5. Does not work on the 5C because the 5C never ran iOS 6. So anyways, that's it for this video, guys. So if you guys liked it, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And, uh... You know, I'll be posting more tech tutorials at one point later on because um, I'm currently waiting. Again, I'm getting an iPhone 6 from my friend and, um, you know, I'm going to make a video on that on jailbreak and, you know, install some jailbreak tweaks. So I'll be looking forward to that in the near future. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Drop it.